So on this problem, we got 5 over 3x plus 1 equals 7 over 6. Um, and again, the idea here is to get common denominators for all the terms on both sides of the equal sign so that we can just ignore all the denominators. So it's important for us to remember that this is 1 over 1 right here. Okay. So just looking at numerical values, I mean, I'm gonna, the, in the 3x, I'm going to ignore the x for now. Because let's get all the numbers to be the same first. Okay. So what's a common denominator, number and denominator that I would find for this? Six. Six, right? So in other words, the 3x, specifically the 3, I'm going to have to multiply by 2. Which means the 5, I'm going to have to multiply by 2 as well. So that gives me 10 over 6, and I've got that x, which we'll address here in a moment, okay? And then I'm going to add this to 1 over 1. So right now that numerator, or I'm sorry, the denominator is 1, but I want it to be 6. So I would multiply the 1 by 6. And this 6 as well. Now, if I divided them, I'd have 1, right? But I'm just focusing on the denominator. So right now I've got 6 over 6, okay? So I changed the 1, I scaled it up. It still has the same value, 6 over 6 is still 1, but I now have a common de numerical value in the denominators, which is, well, that's what we want. And then this is equal to 7 over 6. We don't have to change that 6. So what else is different about these two denominator, uh, three denominators? The x. Well, we've got the 6s, so we just need to focus now on the x. So in this denominator, with the 6 over 6, I would need to multiply that denominator 6 by x. So I'm going to multiply that one by x. And then I have to multiply the 6 by x as well. Just to check, we could ask ourselves, self, what is 6x divided by 6x? 1. And that's the value that we had started with here in black. Okay. So this other value as well, I just need to multiply the 6 and the 7 by x also. All right, so now that we have common denominators, the nice thing we could do is just to rewrite this, but with out any denominators. So in other words, I'm just writing all the numerators with the operations. So that's why we wanted common denominators with all three of the terms. Um, and then we just solve this like we would any regular equation. I want the x's on one side, so I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides of the equal sign, giving us 10 equals x here. Uh, so if we wanted just the terms on the left side of the equation to have common denominators, we could do that. So in other words, if we made the one 3x over 3x, um, let, let's show what that does for us. So we'd have 5 over 3x plus 3x over 3x equals 7 sixths. So now I can rewrite this as 5 plus 3x over 3x equals 7 sixths. So the nice thing about this is it gives us a proportion to work with. So if you prefer to work with proportions, maybe this is the way to go for you, all right? So in other words, now we would cross multiply, so I'd have 6 times 5 plus 3x equals 3x times 7, and 3x times 7. So distributing the 6 would have 30 plus... 18x equals 21x. No, we're good. <laughs> we're good there. Talking about right here, we're going to subtract 18x from both sides. And then we get uh, 30 equals uh, 3x. And then finally, dividing by 3 on both sides gives us x. 10 equals x, anyways. Yeah, checking. <laughs> This is, hopefully, this is the easy part for you guys. Well, if you'll actually do it, which I hope you do. So I've got 5 over 3 times 10. If I add this to 1, then I should get 7 sixths. So that gives me 5 over, I'm going to change this then to 30. 
And I'll make this 30 over 30, which would give me then, I'm going to write this over here, uh, 5 plus 30 is 35 over our common denominator 30. Does this equal 7 sixths? Yeah, if I simplified this by dividing by 5 here in the numerator and denominator, it would give me 7 sixths. So our 10 equals x checks off.